Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick immigration blog here about the two different types of B visitor visas. Um, so the two different types, you may have heard this when you're going through customs, business or pleasure. Um, if you're here for business, you can get a visa for attending symposiums, negotiating contracts, you know, uh, talking with business associates. It's not really for coming here for a job. It's just kind of a temporary, you have business in the United States that you need to attend to for a few days or weeks or whatever before you go back. Um, so it's not intended to stay here for any you know, extended length of time. It's just to oversee you know, operations and business. Um, you know, compare that to the tourist visa, which a lot of us use, and a lot of people coming to the United States use, and that is more, you want to see the sights, you know, you want to visit family, or um, go to the Super Bowl, uh, just something about America that you want to come in and, and see very quickly. Um, so that's what those, the differences between those two are, and what are your rights and responsibilities with these visas? Well, to put it simply, you can't work. You cannot get a job on either of these. If you do, you're going to be in violation of your visa, and that's not good for your future immigration prospects. Um, you can't come in with the intent to stay forever. Kind of. Um, what that means is that you know if you if you file an application sometime in the future, it won't necessarily be denied. But there are certain pitfalls with saying, uh, "I'm going to come to the United States to marry someone." for instance, using the visitor visa. That's considered fraud, and the U.S. government does not like that very much. So, um, you know, it's, it's really very strictly for coming and enjoying yourself. Um, you can usually get one for, you know, a couple of weeks to several months, depending on what you ask for. And if you're a frequent visitor to the United States, they usually extend your visa up to about 10 years. Now, that doesn't mean you can just move in. Um, but it does mean that you don't have to keep applying over and over and over again. So those are the basic kind of rights and responsibilities and differences between B1, B2 visitors.